I want to tell you how this can save your life. Okay, <laughs> my fear is that this is gonna be a little bit too intense, but my hope is that maybe this can help save your life or the life of one of your loved ones. Um, Laura Jean at one point had gone to the hospital because she was experiencing some major hemorrhaging related to a, a pregnancy. We got to the hospital, they, we told them that she was bleeding a lot and they said, okay, have a seat. <laughs> Can you believe it? 15 or 20 minutes later, she finally said, okay, you can go back. And what did they have us do? They sat, they sat us down in a room and said, have a seat, a doctor will be with you shortly. Finally, another 30 minutes later, they find, a doctor came in and checked her, had her stand up, and blood went everywhere, all over the floor, all over the bed, everywhere. Suddenly everybody was on the phone. Long story short, uh, she was in emergency surgery to stop the bleeding. Very scary. Okay, so that is the backup or the um, the background story of why we have kind of leaned towards taking care of our health on our own. We are so grateful that we know the usefulness of some herbs and plants. Now, turns out that that many of the medicines that the medical profession uses are completely plant-based or or derived originally from plants. Fast forward to two weeks ago when the same thing happened to Laura Jean. Again, bleeding started. What we did is we first of all prayed and we felt very strongly that we should take care of it on our own. And of course we were willing at any moment to go to the hospital if um, things didn't immediately change. We already knew about cayenne pepper, luckily, so that's what we went to and that's what we felt was the next step. Take one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, you put it in um, hot water, as hot as you can stand to drink quickly. But she took this, it was just a, a small mug, and drank it down. It was amazing how quickly it stopped the bleeding. Okay, so two things from this story. First of all, follow the still small voice. God will tell you what to do if you're listening. Second of all, educate yourselves on how to take care of your own health. Nobody is responsible for your health except you. So the more you know <laughs> about how to take care of you and your family in, in emergency situations and otherwise, uh, the better off you'll be. See you on Monday. <laughs>